what he said was that the insurance companies must tell the, the, the policyholder what they are deprived of, that they're not getting uh, a pre-existing condition, uh, uh, right, but there are cancellation notices going out. There's a million of them in California. Yeah, and it's not. And and what they have to do now is to send another letter that says, "This is what this is going to mean to you in terms of you won't get pre-existing condition uh, d discrimination." And here are the other options but, that are available minute, to the you the, in the marketplace. But the president has been apologetic. He's been accountable for saying something that was not the case. You were speaker of the house. You, in many ways, were seen as an architect and a key ally on this. And this is what you said back in June of 2009 on MSNBC. Watch. What we are talking about is affordable, quality, accessible health care for all Americans. It's about choice. If you like what you have and you want to keep it, you have the choice to do that. Are you accountable for saying something that turned out not to be correct? Well, it's not is that it's not correct. It's that if you want to keep it, and it's important for the insurance company to say to people, this is what your plan does. It doesn't uh, uh, prevent you from being discriminated against on the basis of pre-existing conditions. It doesn't, uh, uh, it Wait. lifetime limits, annual limits, and the There's rest of There's a bottom line to this, which I yeah. think people understand and the president has acknowledged, which is if there are not, the government is deciding there have to be minimum standards right. that are minimum uh, requirements in any health care plan. Yeah. So if you have something and you like it and it doesn't meet what the government says you have to have, you cannot keep it. If you and that's had, not what you said If here. you had your plan before the enactment of the law in 2010, if you had your plan before, there is nothing in the law that says you have to. But, you know, again, we can go back and forth on this. Right, but, but, but this is an important deal because the grandfathering has changed. And the bottom line is the president has acknowledged, it doesn't seem like you're acknowledging, that saying to people back in 2009, hey, this is going to be easy. If you like what you have, you can keep it. And this is all could, about and choice. You could if, and, and if you had your plan until the enactment of the law in 2000. Any pre the grandfathering is for those before 2000. But let me say this, and I commend the president. He's. Uh, gracious and he's taking responsibility but that doesn't mean that there was anything in the law that said if, uh, if you like what you had before 2010 you couldn't keep it you that, I think it's really important to make that point he took responsibility for the big picture and that's important for him to do because that's what people see but, but there is, is nothing, but, but you said earlier, if you, if the law says that you must be can't, the law doesn't say that. But again, neither here nor there. How do we go but forward? But the bottom line is people are getting policies that are canceled, and that was not the representation that was made. And, the, and, and it the, was also foreseeable. It was part of the debate that this actually happened. Well, now, I would agree with you for the policy since 2010, but not for the 2000 before. But, but the president has also said that the insurance companies, and many of them have been very responsible and some not so, the insurance company has to say to you, you're not getting the exemption pre uh, uh, pre-existing conditions, you will have lifetime limits, you will have annual limits, and by the way, you have to tell people that they can go to the exchange, the marketplace, where they may, may qualify for a subsidy or they may just the get big, a better price. The big picture on this is that it doesn't seem to be working right now. And you yeah. argued at the time, you said, look, there's a lot of controversy around this. It's politically yeah. hot and that people don't it understand the good things. Right. And that people don't understand the good things that are in it. But then you said this in March of 2010. Watch. This is but we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it away from the fog of the controversy. And hasn't that idea that you have to pass it before you know what's in it, isn't that really the problem as you look back on it? That the, there was such a rush to get this done, yeah. no Republicans voting for it, and now there are unintended effects of this yeah. that were foreseen at the time that you couldn't know the impact of it, and now this is coming home to roost. No, it, what, what I was saying there is we have a House and a Senate, we get a bill, we go to conference, or we, we ping pong it, and then you see what the final product is. However, however, I stand by what I said there. Yeah, when people see what is in the bill, they will like it, and they will. And so while, while there's a lot of hoop de doo and ado about what's happening now, very appropriate. Mm -hmm. I'm not criticizing. I'm saying well, it took a great deal for us to pass this bill. I said uh, if we uh, go up to the gate and the gate is locked, we'll unlock the gate. If it, mm -hmm. we can't do that, we'll climb the fence. If the fence is too high, we'll pull vault in. If, if we can't do that, we'll helicopter in, but we'll get it done. We had uh, uh, passed the test of the courts, and we did the first...
plant in the first part of the uh, first year of the implementation went very smoothly. The website did not work. That has caused problems complicating people transitioning from those policies. The other, but again, this is never thought to be easy. And the fact is, is what, it doesn't matter what we're saying here. What matters is what happens at the kitchen table of the American people and how they will have more affordability, mm -hmm. more accessibility, better quality care, prevention, wellness, a healthier nation, of, uh, uh, honoring the vows of our, fa our founders of life, a healthier life, liberty to pursue their happiness, not be chained the, the, by a policy. I understand what the, what the arguments are. The administration is saying That's this will be considered a success. Right. If 80% of the people are able to get on the exchanges and get signed up, is that an acceptable No, threshold? that's just by this, uh, the end of this month. Mm -hmm. That's just by... That's it, acceptable? No, well, it's not, it's not acceptable ongoing, but they're saying by, with the, the uh, uh, fixes to the website, they, they're anticipating that 80% by, by December 1 as we go forward. No, it has to be improved upon then. But again, the measure will be how many more people can sign up, how fewer mistakes and glitches, and again, the shortening of the time for people to get on. But the, the thing is, is this is a big deal. This is a very important pillar of economic and health security for the American people. Well, all the more important to 